Hello everyone, I hope you are having a wonderful time. Today I'm going to share this Mogami W3082 high resolution, high quality speaker wires that they use in million dollars uh, studios and live venues. So this one is shielded coaxia speaker wires that are made by Mogami and it features the 33 AWG 80 strands oxygen free copper conductors inside coaxia cable and shield cable both feature very same uh, close to uh, 14 gauge uh, wires as some of you already know I made a lot of different speaker wires from many different brands audio quest mogami canary belden and many other brands that I try this mogami w3082 turned out to be most high resolution most natural and accurate sounding and clarity and detail is unlike any other wires that I have ever experienced regardless of the price point. I will have all the links of parts and components that I used in this video. Uh, this audio quest sure grip but uh, this is 300 or 500 I forgot. So this one is probably one of the most transparent sounding banana plugs. It may sound weird but banana plugs can affect the uh, sound quality a little bit than you know, connecting bare wires to your terminal. So this one is one of my favorite. But for convenience, this kind of plugs are must have, especially because I do a lot of speaker review. So I do a lot of plugging in and out and I have to build it tough and I have to build it last longer. So I use marine grade, these kind of uh, shrink tubing as well. So check out all the links in the video description and uh, you will find it to be pretty good quality parts and components that I included in this video. So I'm going to show you, this is a regular stereo cable. So one side is a shield. I put it back together. One side is a core. So this is going to be positive. The shield is going to be negative terminal connection. So very revealing, highest possible sound delivery to your speaker that you can have at this moment. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and show you how I built this speaker wires. Tools that I'm using is very simple, scissor, uh, wire cutter, these are uh, uh, BFA banana plugs, this Allen key which uses for this audio quest. If you use different plugs, you choose whatever the tools that necessary. And I'm using this blade and this kind of sheathing. You can have it very cheaply on uh, online like Amazon or eBay and electrical tape, Teflon tape. So that's what I use. I'm using this high quality three to one shrimp shrink ratio marine grade uh, shrink tubing as well as this PET uh, outer sheathing. So I choose white because I want to make sure they are different than other wires. I'm using this uh, old RCA plug outer shield but you can use like a uh, marker or you know ballpoint pen or that kind of uh, housing as well. This is just to protect the uh, joint area. This area is very important because I show you why. As you can see, I taped up the uh, area that I'm going to cut right here. So let's cut it. This is simply go like this, gently cut through here because you don't want to cut through the uh, copper shielding inside. So this is the one that I took out and this is the shield. So, um, you don't want to touch the shield with your hand because this is also going to be feeding to your speaker or you know that's going to be negative terminal connection. So that's how the design is. So since I got the outer jacket out, turn it counterclockwise, opposite direction as it has. So this is how I will turn it. So this is where you get and before you do anything you want to protect these conductors so what I do is I don't twist it I'm just gonna put the uh, Teflon tape on it go around the 
Y area a little bit. So this is how I would do. Because these strings, you don't want to break it. So just keep on going like this all the way to, you want to have uh, bare conductors around like this area, about one inch. So this is how you will have it after you wrap it. And then you want to twist this uh, conductors a little bit. So that's where it's going into the banana plug. This one will go on like this. Then I'm going to shrink it real quick. You can use a one long tube, but I prefer this kind of uh, connection joint because it makes it a little bit stiffer. It looks pretty good, and then I just need to cover this end. After you take these conductors, what you want to do is you want tubing there, tubing in there. So I'm going to use this tube. This one is small. Don't worry about these frame, you can shrink it down. So shouldn't be a big issue. So to make it easier, what you want to do is, while you're doing that, just put this on together at the same time. So it will be a lot easier. So this is, I'm creating the Y area, like here, it's time to shrink. So whatever you choose, like as long as you have like half inch or slightly bigger, it will work. Slide this wide joint protection layer, the cup or whatever you want to call it. Slide it in there like this. So you just want to have like this here. So that's going to give you good protection. And then you want to have this on now. So that's how you want it, like this. Sorry, my makeshift table is moving around. Like this, you got it in there. So this is really nice compression system that they did on these plugs. And then side screw or side nuts. Get this on. In here. Don't worry about the labeling, you can remove them. This is how it should look. And then I'm gonna put this on. I'm not gonna remove that label there. The negative side. So I'm gonna slide this uh, joint Y area as I assemble it right here with this cap. So that's why how you want to have it. Usually, I like to massage it a little bit. So this W3082 will be probably highest resolution without coloration and everything combined, yet very affordable, high quality, oxygen-free copper wires that you can buy. Probably one of the best and natural and high resolution and clearer sounding speaker wires that I have ever built. Highly recommended, my friend. Very good speaker wires. Try it, probably you will fall in love with it.
Thank you very much for watching and happy listening.